Hi crafters, this is Crafty Sabi, and uh, a few of my subscribers have asked if I could do uh, a tutorial on how I made these envelope fabric pockets. And um, so I'm going to try to attempt to do that today. I, like I said in my last video, sometimes when you're doing things, you know what you're talking about or what you're thinking in your head, but to actually get it uh, out into a video is sometimes difficult. And I, my goal is to always uh, make sure that what I'm saying is sort of clear and easy to follow. So I hope that I can convey that today with how I made these. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on that. And if there's a bit of time, then I will uh, show you some of the other projects that I was working on. Otherwise, I will make another video following this one. So these were um, the envelopes that I showed that I made out of book page. Um, so there's just a different, few different ones. This one, th this was made out of uh, a pillow that I had found at a um, thrift shop. And um, and that one has Velcro a uh, Velcro closure. And these are them. A few that I made here. So um, I'm just going to show you how I did it real quick. And so what you're going to need is um, a piece of book page, or th this is actually two pieces of book page that I glued together. And when I glue, I try not to get too close to the edges so that um, you're, you could run, if you're going to do some sewing, then you can run it through your machine without, um, you know, running into wet glue. Um, and if you do get too close, then maybe just let your paper dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so your book page is going to need to be um, measure a five by uh, ten and three quarters long. So it's quite lengthy, but um, you know maybe you can find something paper or whatever you want that uh, fits that size. And um, you'll need also a piece of material, whatever material you want to cover your envelope in. Uh, this happens to be what we're going to use today is just actually a really beautiful set of um, napkins, dinner napkins that I found. And the material is just beautiful. And so I cut this piece off and I may use that for the point of my... Um, my envelope when I'm decorating it later. So, um, so that's what you're going to need for that. So any material, like I already showed you my other examples, just whatever you have um, laying around. And your piece of material will need to be rough, well, I cut mine just a little larger, so I cut a little, a piece that was five and a quarter so I just made it a little longer because you can always trim after uh, by 15 and a half so that's what I did there so so now um, I'll show you how we're gonna fold the envelope so once you've got your pages glued together I measure up uh, from the bottom up to um, three and three quarters and I just put a little mark there and that's where you're going to fold your bottom up on itself at the three and three quarter mark so you're, you're going to want to fold that up and then for at the top you want to uh, fold your papers in half Sorry, I've already got the tape on it to show you. But you're going to want to fold it in half to get a nice crease there. And I usually pinch down about an inch there, just so uh, you can see where you're going to fold your flaps in. So once you've made that mark right there, down the center, so that's the center point right there, you're going to want to bring your corners in to meet that center line. So just like that. So, so far we have our bottom folded up and the corners folded in to form that point. And then from there, you're going to want to fold your paper down and you're going to make a crease right above that line there, that where you folded it up at the three and three quarters. Um, you're going to want to fold your paper down 
at that point. So just like that. So you have this envelope shape. So you've got about that much, maybe like a half an inch from, from here to there, if that makes sense. So you should have this uh, basic shape. Um, so after you're done that, on the back side of it, I like to apply some score tape. And I mentioned this on the, uh, my previous video that um, there's probably a lot of other things that you could use. Fab Fabri-Tac, I think someone suggested, and um, there, there's other things. But uh, for the sake of time, I, I don't have any of that. Um, so I just used my thin score tape. And I apply a line here and here and across each end. And I'm going to uh, remove that and so that it's sticky and stick it to my fabric so that when I um, am folding and trying to get things adjusted, my paper's not moving all over the place and then it, I find it a little easier to feed through the machine later. So I'm gonna bring in my piece of material here and I'm gonna show you one end here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape Sorry. <clears throat> and then working from the bottom where we fold it up, I'm going to stick this down to my fabric about, an ha about a half inch up from the bottom. Okay, and stick that down. So I got like a little bit of, like a half an inch of material flopping over there. And then I'm just going to center it and then push the whole thing down onto my fabric. So there you have it covered. Okay, so you should still have this piece hanging over here and we have this little part here to deal with. And like I said, I cut it a little larger and that's okay, I will trim it down later. I'm not worried about that. So for right now, I want to apply some more tape to here. And I'm not gonna go right to the edge because I probably am gonna end up sewing, sewing across there. So I wanna go up a little bit here Apply my tape. There we go. And then I'm gonna just take that excess piece and fold it up on that onto that uh, sticky tape. Okay. So now we have that. Okay, now we're going to go to the end where we have, where our um, point is going to be. And we have all of this material. Now you're going to notice that when you flip your material down, everything is not covered. And uh, feel free to cut yours longer and actually come all the way down if that's what you want to do. This material is a little bit thick. And once you cover this and then fold this up. This will become your point, let's just say. Once we sew this and you look in there, nobody's really gonna look in there to see if it's finished all the way down or not. And it eliminates, eliminates sorry, a little bit of bulk. So that that's why I chose to do that. I, I didn't feel it was necessary to use an entire piece of fabric, so I just stopped there. But you're welcome to make it longer if you wish. Um, and if your fabric's really thin, then there really is no issue with you going all the way down. So I'm just going to do the same thing here and apply some more tape so that my fabric doesn't move around while I'm trying to sew it. I don't know exactly how long. Okay. 
<clears throat> Sorry, I don't even know if I'm in frame or not. Okay. And then we'll just take that uh, excess piece and we will fold it down on itself. And the other reason, the reason why I, um, <clears throat> well, that worked out well, um, made the crease marks ahead of time was so that I could easily find them later and be able to uh, fold my material <clears throat> without a problem, actually. Okay, so, so the next thing you might notice is that when you fold these in, your material might be a little off. See how I have a little bit of excess there? You could go ahead at this point, even now, and um, trim it down so that th that meets up with uh, the edge of your paper. Clean up the edges, and um, I'll do that off camera now, and I will be right back. Okay, so I was going to actually um, show you how I was going to sew this on the machine, but I'm having a bit of trouble with my sewing machine, so I tried to um, record this just a minute ago, and I actually made it here <laughs> across the bottom, and then um, it kind of got all tangled up. So I'm going across the bottom, so that's where um, I folded it up. So I'm going to go across the bottom. I'm going to sew straight up the side. And I'm sorry, I'm holding my camera with my hand. And then I'm going to go across the top without folding these. So I'm just going to go up the side, across the top, and I'm going to come straight back down. Okay guys, so um, this is what you should have now. So there's the pocket. So we folded that up. And then I just, and there's your, your uh, folds. So I just went all the way around, like I said, with my sewing machine, just a, just a big square, okay? And then um, in one of my sort of, okay, like this one here, uh, I originally sewed a line across there to sew down the flap, and I didn't like that because then when I flipped it over, I could see that stitch mark across the center, and I didn't like it. So in order to avoid that, and it's okay if you want to go ahead and do that, that's fine. But to avoid that, I just figured that my glue gun probably would just suffice. So I would, I put a little glue on um, those edges there. And I just um, fold it. And it's clean and neat. And because you sewed it, um, it looks like it's it's sewed shut. It's a little bit of a cheater method here. Sorry. And that's all I did there. There you go. So pretty simple. Um, and that's how it looks when you close it up. And again, the reason why I use paper was to keep it thin and um, light enough so that you could put it on a journal page and it wouldn't be too bulky. And um, this one pops up a little bit, so I would probably end up putting some Velcro there to keep it closed. And I may end up, like I said, uh, using the rest of that napkin and putting this on here to finish it up. And then we'll end up with something kind of like that. So I hope that helps a little bit for those of you that were asking. Um, I hope it was simple enough to follow. I don't know. So, um, so that's that. And hopefully I have some time here. So this is another little project that I've been working on. I got my hands on... A really old dictionary and I actually gutted the book and I took all the dictionary pages out and I thought you know what am I gonna do with them and I love putting them in my journals and stuff but I wanted to make some projects with them also 
So I made little pockets with the journal, uh, the dictionary page. I sewed around the edges and then I attached some pieces of fabric that I had. This one happened to have some beautiful trim on it. Um, so there's that one. Um, this one here is another pocket dictionary page. I sewed around the edges and I just put the trim on the bottom this time. And these would um, adhere to your journals and you can put tags inside or whatever you want. So I just thought I would just show you quickly how I did that. So I took a couple of pieces of, you could use whatever you have. Um, these happen to be four by six and three quarters in size. And I like the size. So um, I just took two sheets out of the book. I just was kind of careful about what, what was on there, just so you don't want to offend any offend anybody. And um, if you want, you can glue them together or not. I took a couple more pieces and I folded them exactly in half so that the writing was going the right way. And then I just took it, I, I put it on the bottom. I just um, put the book pages inside of the folded book pages. And simply enough, I took it to my sewing machine and I did the same thing. I just sewed a square all the way around it, just all the way around. And then I found some, um, so this is how it looks when you do it. So this one is just sewn all the way around. So you created your pocket there. Really, you've got a pocket here too if you want. Um, if you don't want to adhere it down, then you have a pocket on both sides. Um, this was just a, a scrap that I had. I just did some crazy stitching through the center of it. And really, I, I would adhere some glue to the, whoop, to the pocket here. I will put this down right about there. Turn off my edges. And just like that, you have a page for your, um, your journal, a little insert. You can put tags or, you know, ephemera in there. And they're super cute. So there's just another quick, uh, easy idea using your dictionary page. I'm having fun making those. And then I've been kind of going crazy with um, my scraps. So I'll move this out of the way. My desk is a bomb right now, you guys. Okay, give myself some more room. So I was kind of going through all of my scraps and I just started playing. So I just started making all of these little fabric swatches. And um, so I'll show you kind of, I'll go through some of them. So I, using lace and pieces of um, fabric that I have. And this was something gifted to me from Wendy Roop. Thank you, Wendy. I love it. It's so beautiful. I think it was from a sari um, scarf. And so, I just found my fabrics. I kind of layered them, started layering them up. This was from Karen, Karen's Creations. Hi, Karen, thank you very much. And um, just did a little bit of sewing to adhere them down and created a whole bunch of them. So that's pretty much what I did um, for most of the day today. This one by Fluke just happens to have a little pocket in it. I thought it was super cute. So you could use, sew your scraps together and they're, they're just so cute, easy to do. Um, this one's really pretty. Um, you could then adhere them to uh, book pages. This one has a little pocket. Um, this is part of that, sorry, isn't that gorgeous? 
this is like a fabric, so it flips up, the pieces flip up. So I would just attach that um, to a book page. And yeah, you can attach them to your book pages. Like I said, you know, um, I mean, you could attach them anywhere. You can put them there. And they're already pre-made, so you just grab and go and your pages will be done. Um, so I just went through and I picked uh, stuff out of the, my uh, fabric box and that's what I did. So there's so many. I just actually <laughs> went crazy. But I wanted to use up my, my bits and I don't like to throw them away. So that's what I did with them. So that's a good way to use those up. And then I'll show you some examples of how I'm using them. So here's a tag. And I just attached some um, fabric at the top. Let's put a little staple in there. So that's a tag. And then I have this little flower, little fabric flower. And we'll just put some glue on the bottom of it. And I'm going to put that right there at the base of that, uh, where that staple was. Okay, and then this is a little swatch that I made. So there's lace layered up on some fabric there, and then um, another piece of trim that uh, one of my subscribers sent to me. And I would just take this and we'll apply some glue to it. Sorry, my cord is not reaching, so, and of course I'm running out of glue. So there. Okay. And then I would just take this whole thing and put it right on the tag. And there you go. You have a decorative tag for your journal. It's fun and it's cute and it's just easy to do. Especially because um, you've already pre-made them. You could just make a whole bunch and be done with it, right? So that's one idea. And then something else I did was, so there's my little swatch that I uh, sewed. And then this is uh, some old book page out of a, um, what was this, a machine embroidery book. I got like a set of them and uh, so the, the pictures are really cute. So I just, I folded it, I sewed it uh, across the edges, I made a pocket out of it there and one in the front and then I just attached a piece of that uh, fabric to it and then it's ready to go into a journal. So that's another way. And then the final one is um, another page out of that sewing book. So I just did some nice decorative sewing across there. I took the page actually and I folded it up on itself so I could create a pocket. So the pocket goes all the way across. And then folded it in half. And then here's, again, a little fabric swatch that I made. Glued it down. And so this will fit easily into my journal. And this is the back side of it. So I just did some trim lace here. So you could make, you know, lengthwise or any size that you want. And then there'll be just enough room for a little tag or something there. So that's another way that I used um, those little swatches. So that's it guys, um, I had a lot of fun today. I'm almost sad that it's, well I am sad that it's Monday and I can't, I'll be at work so I can't craft. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so give the swatches a try, pre-make some and it's a good way to use up your stash and get your dictionary paper out and give that a try and hopefully um, the little envelopes uh, Hopefully it was clear enough and you can uh, make some of your own for your journals. So that's it, you guys. Uh, hope you guys are all well and we will talk to you all real soon. Okay, take care.
Bye-bye.